What is going on everyone? Today we have the 2020 Mazda 6 sedan in the signature trim here and I'm going to give you a night review taking a look at the exterior lights, the interior lights, and even go for a test drive and see just how well these lights perform. So as we take a look at these headlights, these are full LED headlights. You can see that blinker on top and then you've kind of got a ring around the actual headlight and then a line to the left and to the right and that's what makes up the signature lighting. These look great, especially when they're coming at you and even during the daytime. This gray color is a premium color from Mazda and I think it looks nice. It looks nice like the sole red and their, their white pearl color is. You've got an LED marker light on the side there. You've got the LED blinkers. We have 19 inch wheels. Light shines off of this gray color pretty nice. Uh, it would be nice to see the sedan a little bit refreshed and kind of revised with its newest styling. I can't wait to see the next version of the Mazda 6. And then as we get to the back, we've got actual LED combination tail lights. So you kind of have a part LED, part incandescent, and you've got LED license plate lights here as well. These tail lights also look pretty sleek. Got the blinker in there and almost kind of the same signature design like you see with the front end. The Mazda 6 trunk is a little on the small side, but it does have a nice illuminated light on the very top. Even as you approach the back seat of the Mazda 6, you get approach lighting from that bottom of that back door, which is always nice to see even in the back. And then as you look into the back seats, this white leather really shines. You've got some bright white LED lights right up above. And then really the only other illumination are the heated seat controls back here. Give you a quick run through of the Mazda 6 interior. It is very modern, simplistic. If you want to see it in the daytime, check out my full review, but it's a very nice, soft lighting at night. So a quick look at the door. You've got all your buttons illuminated, your lock controls as well, and then a couple of controls next to the steering wheel. Here are your controls next to the steering wheel. And let me first hit this one that says view. That is for our camera. Mazda gives you a 360 degree camera where you can see around the vehicle over there. You can see in front and back. You can use your command knob to change the views as well. So it is nice, although it is definitely not the clearest. And you can't really see it, but Mazda does have some illumination inside of this little door pocket, which is nice. Mazda also illuminates the pedals down at your feet and on the passenger side. The steering wheel controls remain unchanged. Everything is illuminated from your information display controls to your radio controls and your cruise control buttons over here. Right in front, Mazda gives you a couple of physical gauges on the left and the right, and then the middle is actually all digital. You can scroll through and see a couple trip computer information, driver assist feature information. And I really like the way that this looks even during the daytime. Uh, it's very crisp, very clear. It gives you all the necessary information without being fussy. And then right in front of us, Mazda gives you a head up display, shows you your speed, your lanes, blind spot indicators, all of that. It's very nice, works well night and day. Now the rest of the screen is pretty easy to use. It does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, you use your command center knob and I'll show you more in the full review. But for your lighting, if you wanna change or even your head up display, you can change that with the settings there or you can move over to vehicle settings and then go down to lighting and then you can change the brightness of your ambient lighting or interior lights whether you have your automatic high beams or even your adaptive lights going so it's nice to see all those controls right here that is an 8 inch screen it does have apple carplay as well stop start button is right next to it and then as you take a peek down you've got dual zone climate control left and right all of that is very crisp and clear well illuminated seat control heated steering wheel button over here ventilated and heated seats all nice and easy to see and use now i just turned the overhead lights on because there is a storage cubby right there that does not have any illumination gear selector does have some illumination and then all the command control knobs including your electronic parking brake brake hold and the shortcuts for that uh, are all illuminated so that is nice to see i got the interior lights on again because the cup holders do not have any illumination and there is no illumination in this center console. It is pretty small as well. Mazda's glove box is well illuminated, softly damped and softly lined. The little light right up here actually shines down and illuminates the center console area. Uh, the camera doesn't pick it up very well, but it is still a soft glow. And then you've got LED lights overhead, which are quite bright and white. Now, as we turn on the headlights, they do a little dance because they are adaptive and auto leveling. They have a really nice crisp beam pattern running across right there and a pretty good spread. If I turn the high beams on, pretty pretty uh, centralized right there, but it does have a little bit of decent width to it. And we'll check out how well these do when we start turning the vehicle and go for a drive. The one thing though is that there are no fog lights. 
So the immediate distance is not that great, like right up and next to the vehicle. But let's go ahead and check them out. All right, y'all, we are behind the wheel with the Mazda 6 here, and we've got a nice beam pattern out in front of us. I'm gonna show you how well the adaptive headlights work, the automatic high beams, a little bit about driving impressions, and uh, just have a little bit of fun. So you get an idea of what it's like to drive this Mazda 6 at night, because for so many of you, that is a big part of owning a vehicle is driving at night. Now, right off the bat, we'll be on a fairly well illuminated road. I'm just gonna go ahead and get on it before we get on the darker road. Mazda Zoom Zoom is back in this Mazda 6. A couple years ago, they gave us the turbo for this Mazda 6, and it is very smooth, does a fantastic job with this six-speed automatic transmission. Now, like I said, this road first is pretty well illuminated, but these lights are bright enough that you can still see a nice beam pattern with them. The head-up display is active, and it's probably really small to your eyes through the camera, but it is nice. One thing to note is that the rear view mirror is automatic dimming, as is this driver's side side mirror. That's always nice so that you don't have to worry. I think the side mirrors are the biggest, kind of the biggest annoyance when there's some bright headlights behind you. But uh, quick discussion about the ambiance in here. I like Mazda's lighting. I like this clean white lighting. It is kind of sterile. Uh, you can't change that, but you can turn the ambient lighting down or off if you want. The biggest takeaway driving the Mazda 6 is that it just drives so nice. It's a pleasure to drive. It handles well, it is smooth. The ride comfort is good, although not great, but that's one trade-off for how well it handles. The steering feel is also fantastic, but let's go ahead and get on a darker road. And as we turn onto this dark road, I want you to remind you that I have a daytime review of this vehicle with more details. And I have a nighttime review of the CX-5. So if you want to check that out, very similar, but let's go ahead and get on it. All right, and as we come over that hill, the low beams are sitting a little bit low. Turn those high beams on. They do a nice job illuminating. I don't think that they're the best, but they do a good job. Now, with the low beams, we'll see how this adaptive function works. I'm gonna start to turn the wheel, and they are swiveling pretty much right up exactly where I want the road and where I want the light to be. That was pretty good. Definitely can't complain about that. I have not looked at the IIHS ratings for these headlights, but I would guess that they are um, probably top notch if not second best. Now there is a car in front of us and with the low beams I cannot see that far. Cars around the corner. High beams I can definitely see pretty well. So I'm gonna have the high beams on now. So they will be on the automatic high beam setting. And going around here, good visibility. They just turned off probably because of that car and now they just turned back on. So. So far good and responsive. Even the high beams, the whole headlight assembly is going to turn those lights. So you can still have your adaptive function at all times. And you can even turn that off if you want. High beams are on. I can see up straight ahead. You can see the road markers way up there. Um, with the high beams, I can see out into the ditch decently well. Not the best right next to the vehicle but they are still doing well i wish we did have fog lights just so we could almost have like a cornering light function aside from actual bad weather lighting but low beams high beams really no difference in the ditches which is expected uh, but still the Mazda 6 lights are doing a really nice job adaptive lighting really does help when you are taking some corners it moves the light pretty much exactly to where you want to see because when you're turning your headlights are shooting off into a direction that you're not going so uh, that, that that is very helpful now one thing you can notice is probably a little bit of the road noise overall the Mazda 6 is a quiet car not quite as quiet as some but it is among the most quiet in the class and the high beams turned off for a second and now they're back on there is a car off in the distance and thankfully they just turned back off so that person was not blinded, only from a very far distance. And with the CX-5, those headlights had done 
uh, probably an even better job, honestly. Um, they're basically the same headlights, but they did have a little bit of a higher sitting position on that front end, which maybe made a slight difference, but the reaction time of the automatic high beams in this and the other Mazdas uh, have been very good. I haven't really had to worry that much about blinding people. The high beams just turn back on. So if you do a lot of night driving, the Mazda 6 will be just fine for you. You'll be very happy, especially if you're coming from uh, old halogen yellow headlights. But living with the Mazda 6 at night is also a pleasant experience. Um, I like the lighting in here. Everything's pretty easy to use. Be sure to check out the daytime review for more details and watch some of these other videos below. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a great day.